Hello and welcome to Not a Drama, Just Tech, No Drama. Uh, this video you can see it like kind of like a part two of a previous video that is going out here on the background, uh, in which I explain how to properly use a caps overlay in a VR. Um, and it was good video. Um, however, there is a little uh, there was a little bit of manual work that you have to do, and it can be a little bit tedious. So I kind of like further improved and refined. Um, what you need to do uh, to actually get the overlays as you see them now in the video with the uh, black background and the windows size correctly so I'm not going to go in detail how to put this in VR go to see this previous video uh, and after you saw that video if you didn't saw it yet uh, you can come to this video to see how can you improve what I actually explained there and will be clear what is improved to you if you see the first video um, so if you already watched it um, or you know what uh, VR toolkit is and how it works let me just demonstrate to you um, the uh, automation uh, that I actually uh, put um, in place here so basically um, if I turn off Chrome here you see here I have a, a shortcut to what I call uh, caps VR so what happened now when I double click that it's magically going to open two windows without all the uh, clutter of uh, Chrome so these are browser windows uh, it actually automatically changing the background of the window to black and it's also changing the titles automatically respectively of the windows for the relatives and for the standings so this means that you are now able just to jump in VR and enjoy uh, your uh, caps windows so how you're going to do that um, I you need a couple of files and just be aware of a few things so I'm going to guide you through uh, I actually put all the resources you need um, in uh, GitLab uh, let me put that up here um, so I actually have put uh, this up in uh, GitLab and you can actually um, follow uh, now the uh, tutorial and here you will find all the files you need uh, in this uh, uh, repository I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to put the link to the repository in the description down below so what you want to do uh, first of all is to actually click here on clone or download and then you're going to download a, a zip file if you open the zip file you're going to uh, have a folder and inside that folder you're going to have uh, these files here so you're going to have uh, this file uh, right here uh, but don't worry it's we have all the file name uh, here in the um, actual um, uh, github repository so i'm going to refer to the github repository you can follow me from there so you see we have um uh, caps uh, but um we have capsdetect.user.js we have relatives html relatives link standing html and standing link so as you can see when i double click um on um, the um, shortcut that I put here on my desktop yeah, it's automatically opening Chrome in the app mode so it's actually going to re uh, remove all the clutter and then I'm actually using a JavaScript um, file which is uh, the one that you saw here um, this one here cap caps the text of user.js that is a script that is running in tamper monkey uh, Tamper Monkey is an add-on for Chrome that allows you to run, to run JavaScript uh, for websites that are matching certain criteria. So I created a, a JavaScript uh, script that basically is changing the background of the windows in caps, it's changing the titles and it's also resizing the window uh, on the right side. So I'm going to guide you now through how to actually achieve this. So once you downloaded the files that you have here, um, you will just need to do um, some few uh, little changes there. So let me bring up the uh, screen again. All right, so um, you have the files, right? Uh, caps of bot, caps user JS, uh, right I mean you can just trash it relatives uh, relatives HTML standing so you need to ensure first of all that these don't have an extension um, actually be sure that you uh, actually rename them so now I cannot do it because uh, it's actually in the zip folder so I'm going to take the folder and put it on my desktop right so I now have the folder on my desktop I'm going to open that and I have my files here now I can actually modify them so uh, actually as you can see uh, relatives and standings they're actually shortcut and if you're going to examine what the workshop what the, sorry what the shortcut is doing is actually uh, opening 
uh, Chrome um, and is opening Chrome with uh, an actual flag and the flag is uh, dash app right so that basically uh, open uh, Chrome without all the interface of Chrome right so if I double click here um, and then I do open it's just doing again the same right so you want to actually go into these properties and just be sure that um, you actually point it right you point this to uh, Chrome right so just be sure that you actually have the path uh, on your own computer or where Chrome is residing because at the moment here obviously is with my um, computer it should be the same uh, but just be sure and then also you need to be sure that you are pointing it to the right file right so here I have now my user uh, then I put it into documents I racing in a racing I created a caps folder and I put it into that you don't need to put it there in documents I racing you can put it whenever you want just be sure that you update the path so that the link can actually find the file and you're going to do the same as well for the standing file now you also want to uh, open this uh, with your notepad and you're going to see here right um, that it's just a very simple JavaScript uh, redirecting uh, to the caps link so you want to actually get this link from caps itself so let me open caps so you can configure your relatives or what you want and then just copy this URL and paste it into a notepad right um, you you may also then want to have the standing so you untick the relatives you tick the standings you configure it as you want it you copy the URL and then you pass it into uh, the standing so you do that for the standings uh, overlay you're going to put it in standings HTML and for the relatives uh, you're going to put it in relative HTML so you copy the link and then you replace whatever here is in bracket so that is going to redirect you uh, to the um, caps uh, overlay uh, as you actually want it so obviously you need to have caps running when you launch uh, this so um, as well you want to edit the bat file and just do more info and run anyway okay and you're going to change here as well to the path or where you actually put the files if you put everything in documents erasing and subfolder caps you will probably most likely just have to change your username or if you're happy uh, to you know if you're called max and then you are lucky you don't have to change anything um, but that is actually what you change in your bot file now that is uh, good but still we need to ensure now that we use as well the JavaScript code here so let me just show you uh, this so um, this code is here and is actually uh, tamper monkey uh, script so tamper monkey is an extension for um, Chrome and I put the link to tamper monkey uh, in the git repository um, and you can just copy paste this and just as you can see what it's doing is actually um, matching for um, a specific uh, uh, URL and what is going to do then is going to uh, actually run a script where is changing uh, is actually checking if um, the window is actually um, about standings or relatives so it's changing the title accordingly and it's changing the size of the window depending on how you configure your caps overlay you may want to refine it the window size but you can do that so what you want to do you want to actually copy all of this and once you have tamper monk installed i show you what you can do so once you have tamper monkey uh, installed what you can do is uh, go into tamper monkey and then you can go into dashboard and you can uh, uh, actually create um, a script into tamper monkey um, so if you click here on the plus you just have a new script and basically you paste uh, the code there so you select everything ctrl v and you have your uh, script and then you just do file and save right and then you uh, actually have those so here is my script uh, that i already have right that is uh, running and working at the moment so um with all of these in place basically when you're going to open the page to the bat file 
is going to use uh, those links to open Chrome in app mode and then Tamper Monkey is going to get triggered to actually change the background color, change the window title and then resize the window to the right side. So this is simplifying even further uh, getting started out with the overlays uh, exactly as you want them. So um, I hope it's uh, clear enough and that you will be able to follow this through. Um, if not, you have the uh, Git repository um, anyway that, that I put up uh, so you can actually uh, use the Git repository uh, as well to uh, ask me questions there, to log some issues or feel free to use the comments uh, here in, uh, in YouTube. So um, just a quick video as a follow up. Hope, I hope that all of this is helpful. Happy racing and happy VR racing and see you in the next one.